Hey, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. So today it's late summer, the humidity's down, it's starting to get me thinking a little bit towards fall and cozy things. So today's craft, I'm gonna be making some throw pillows. Let's get started. So for these throw pillows, We'll be using a pack of shop towels from Harbor Freight. I picked up this pack for $12.99. There's 50 in the pack. They're made of a lightweight canvas, much like a painter's drop cloth. Thanks to Jamie and Zeb Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage for the tip on these Harbor Freight towels and also the inspiration for the pillows. I gave them a light ironing. I wasn't worried about getting out every wrinkle because there will be another step where we will need to heat set the paint and it will get ironed again at that time. As you're choosing the towels to use for your pillows, just be sure to match them up and try to find ones that are similarly sized. Uh, these are all about 12 by 13, but again, they are not cut completely even. So I just tried to sift through the pack and find ones that were similar. For this first pillow, I'm using the JRV stencil called Pine Tree Farm Seeds. Along with the DIY paint color Little Black Dress. I'm using the color Fancy Farm Girl for the green on the trees. For all the paint, stencils, and stamps I'm using here today, be sure to visit my website, mamabearblue.com. Here I'm using a JRV stencil brush and I dip my brush into the paint and then offload just a bit. When I am stenciling on fabric, I don't use quite a dry of a brush as I would if I was stenciling onto a hard surface because you do need this to soak into the fabric just a little bit. So just a bit of offloading and then I like to use the pouncing motion up and down. You can use a swirling motion. Um, I do that sometimes, but I find the pouncing mo motion works well for this. These stencils have a lot of neat details, so just take your time and be careful as you change colors that you only get that color of paint inside the part of the stencil that you want. You can use different sized brushes. I definitely use a smaller stencil brush for the more detailed areas. And if you pull up your stencil and you see that you've actually missed a little spot like I did there, you can lay the stencil back down carefully and just repaint that spot. I try to wash my stencils right away with some warm water and I usually just use the same brush that I was using to stencil to gently rub the paint off. Just be careful you don't bend any parts of your stencil. For this next pillow, I wanted to use a lot of fun colors, so I chose this Sugar Skull Stencil by JRV. And the DIY Paint Colors Fire Starter, Liquid Sunshine, Little Black Dress, Sea Glass, Kissing Booth, Water Lily, Summer Crush, and Fancy Farm Girl. This one was a lot of fun using all the different colors. It actually felt like I was doing one of those adult coloring books. It was relaxing, and I loved the way it turned out. For this next pillow, I wanted to show you how we can use the Iron Orca Design stamps on the pillows. I like to use the ink when I'm stamping on fabric. This ink is by Iron Orca Designs, and this color I'm using here is called Ocean's Deep. When I first start my stamping projects, I like to ink up the ink pad. I put a light coat of ink and then use the nozzle to kind of rub it back into the pad. And here's a quick peek at a stencil I made at home on my Cricut. 
of Indiana because that's where I live and these pillows always sell really well in my booth. And I'll do one more pillow here today with a JRV stencil called Walking on Sunshine. This one was designed by Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. It's great for layering and when I completed this pillow I noticed how much it looked like a watercolor look and I just loved it. So now we need to start assembling our pillow. The first step is going to be to heat set this. So ideally you've waited 24 hours after your stenciling and you use a hot dry iron to heat set the paint. Be sure not to use any steam or you will reactivate and smear the paint. So now I'm going to sew the sides of the pillow, leaving a small opening at the bottom. You want to be sure that the stenciled side is facing in. I promise I am like the world's most averagest sewer. I can basically just sew straight lines. So this is very simple. If you have a machine, it's not too intimidating, but I do have a no sew option for those of you who are not into sewing it with a machine. You can definitely order from Amazon pillow covers that have a zipper on back. Even though the fabric is a little different, you can still stamp and stencil on this fabric. Then you can just buy the correct size pillow insert to put inside the cover. I will be sure to put the Amazon links to these products in the description box below. For stuffing the pillow, I use polyfill. I bought this large economy size box from Walmart. If you're gonna be making a lot of pillows, I would highly suggest that, that will save you some money. They do come in smaller package sizes if you're only making a few pillows. Now it's time to sew up the opening. So I carefully tuck under the edges of the fabric and put it into the sewing machine and sew it up that way. I have used hot glue on the openings before and it has worked fine as well. You just run a small bead of hot glue inside that seam and press it together. I don't recommend machine washing these pillows. They are spot clean only. So to finish up, I always use Scotchgard fabric water shield, just a light spray one direction and then the next. And I do the back as well. Be sure if you do this step, you do it outside because there is a little bit of an odor with that spray. And then I let the pillow sit outside for an hour or two just to let that smell dissipate. These pillows are a lot of fun to make and they make great gifts as well. If you give this project a try, I'd love to hear about it. Comment below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I have new videos uploading. To purchase any of the products you saw me use in today's video, be sure to visit my website, mamabearblue.com. Thanks for watching.